Well, for years, women have been breaking barriers and blazing paths in the NYPD. Recruitment efforts have helped make these numbers climb, but now new union data obtained by Fox 5 shows females are making a mass exodus from the department. Joining us now is Jillian Snyder, a former NYPD officer, now an adjunct lecturer at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Jillian, thanks for being with us. So I want to walk through the... I want to walk through the numbers here. Data shows 33% more women NYPD officers retired or resigned in 2022 compared to the year prior. Low morale, poor pay, and a boys club mentality said to be some of the reasons why. How does that track with your experience and what you're hearing from other people uh, who still work in the department? So I retired about three years ago, and I can tell you it still is um, a man's job. Um, the NYPD, though, has done a lot of great things to recruit more women. I believe last numbers showed that they had 19% female, whereas most agencies average about 13%, but the NYPD is still the good old boys club. They, they've been that way for a long time. And unfortunately, with the recent departure of former police commissioner Sewell, I really think that drove more women to question their occupational choice. Right, so ultimately having the first female police commissioner wound up being demoralizing because they saw her leave. Uh, and it's fitting that you mentioned that because the, you know, the stories that were out there that she did not refute really were that she felt powerless and micromanaged by the mayor who himself was a former police officer. So that's certainly a, a devastating turn of events to have the first female commissioner wind up being a net negative essentially, you're saying, when it comes to recruiting more female officers. Yeah, I was very, very um, proud to be a cop when they were bringing on a female police commissioner, the first ever. Um, she was a genuine, articulate woman who was inspirational to the department, and her short tenure really made women, especially, I'm still friends, most of my female friends are still on the job, and talking about it, it's, it's just depressing that we had that and then it was taken away so quickly. And not that I'm saying anything against current police commissioner Caban. He's a wonderful person, very experienced, very credible. But for women and in this era where we're trying to get more women on the job, having you know a woman leave so quickly to be replaced by a man, that makes us question it. Now, there are efforts to increase the recruitment of women. Recently, they got rid of a physical fitness test, a time trial type thing that many people say held back recruits, especially women. Do you think efforts like that will bear fruit? What, what do you think it's going to take to turn around the side? Because these numbers really are pretty staggering. They are, but we do need to remember we saw um, 26 and 28 percent, respectively, of women recruits for the NYPD in 2021 and 2022. That's mind-blowing numbers right there. Not that all of them successfully graduated the academy, but they did apply and they did get on the job for that recruitment period. Mm -hmm. But as you said, eliminating the 1.5 mile run, in my opinion, um, when I went on the job, I had to do it. All of my friends had to do it. Women cops had to do it. Um, it's not that you're ever going to actually run after an offender or a suspect 1.5 miles. I know I never did. But that just gives you the stamina, the endurance to be able to deal with what you might not know will happen the next day. So um, right now we only have the job standard test. Um, every applicant has to complete it, male or female. It is a physical fitness and endurance test. But eliminating that run was something that Juanita Holmes had said she thought would be inspirational for more women to join the force because physically women, you know, don't have as right. much endurance as men. Although the marathon times are getting awful close when you look at the winning times, don't they? All right, Jillian Snyder, we're going to have to cut it off there. It's a fascinating conversation, though. It's certainly a huge issue going forward for the NYPD and the city as a whole. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.